uh, this is the body and in order to help yourself to secure the hands and the leg on the body you should I mean you can use this kind of pins which secure it to the which you put it at a fast at a place and fasten it the pin to fasten on the body and this will help you as you poke it along so this is the pin and I have managed to secure the hand on the body so right here as you can see I have already pieced the two legs together yeah it's like this and now I shall continue to do the hind legs here it is so yeah this is how I have um, pieced them together this is how it looks and um, it isn't so clear on the cameras but actually when you look at the things you can see still a little bit of holes as um, to better reinforce the attachment I have used uh, the thicker needle for the sides here and uh, if any areas that you need a uh, dent in so uh, to to better piece I mean to cover up the holes you can use some of the remaining wool to put over and um, poke it with the thinner needles and that is to cover any area or parts that you want to cover up I'm sorry that I would I did not tell you guys what color you will need for making this dot and cake um, you will also need red color which is for the strawberry and the cream for the cake and this two one light brown and one dark brown they are for the dog and blue color is for the heart that is around the neck and this two colors are for the cake too so right now I'll be using the brown color to make the body to color the, the dog and it'll be pretty easy well um, this is the darker brown and this is the lighter brown the lighter brown will be for the body um, half of the face like this and part of the body and then the darker brown here will be used for the ear and the end of the tail and I have not made the ear and the end of the tail but I am going to use the lighter brown here to um, color sort of color the dog yeah so um, it's pretty easy you just tear a bit of it and lay it over on the top and poke it gently I mean poke it until it's firm and it look as though you make the whole thing out of the brown color this is halfway done for the head and you see I'm just trying to patch up the yellow part I mean the white part and I will continue to lay them on top and cover it up so now I have completed the head um, which there are still some areas to be patched up but um, it's mostly done and now it's for the body and I'll be doing the body the way that they say it here and try my best to follow what they instructed so here I have already made um, cover up the body yeah this is how this is and I'm gonna use the remaining brown to make the tail which is make um, which can be made using the same way like the head the head and the body which whereby you grow it up and you poke it the length should be around the length should be around 2 cm um, it also depends on the size of your dog I mean if you want a longer tail you can actually make it but 
I'll just follow what is shown here. Um, here I have made the tail for the dog, and as you can see here, uh, one part needs to be the darker brown, and the first part needs to be the lighter brown. So I'll be adding the darker brown to the back. Um, as you can see, I have already attached the tail to the body, but then um, you can see that there is actually quite a lot of holes around it, and the part around it is sunken. So in order to patch it up, you'll need to use the brown, and probably tear a bit and go around the, the connection part to patch up the holes and to make it smoother. Now. So now when you have um, the body and the head done and the tail done, you need to cut out um, a piece of cardboard um, which measure sorry which measure 6 cm to um, 6 cm and 1 cm and you need to make um, stick the pieces together into this one into like this and this will be the shape of the year um, what we will do here what you will do here is you have this shape and then you put these pieces put it inside and you poke and you add I mean you continue adding it until it reaches a certain thickness and the year will be done and when you're done uh, with this, you pull it out, and you find that this thing will actually stuck to the to the uh, styrofoam here. So then you see it's pretty furry, and you need to use the needle to poke it, and any um, any hair that is standing out can be cut off.